Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMAX.US and today I have this 2019 Newmar Dutch Star 4369. Now this is one of the most favorable floor plans from the Dutch Star in 2019 and they're still making this body style in 2020 and 2021. So this is the latest body styling that we get from Newmar on the Dutch Star model. Um, this coach also has about $60,000 in options and a lot of really neat features um, that we're starting to see on these newer generation coaches which is, the tech is taking a step above what we had before, so I'm excited to show you the thing today. Let's get started. Up front, it's got a um, pretty standard 10,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. And to open it up, a little lever. And this top part opens up. You can see the generator right there. Now you can also pull out the you can slide this out as well. Here's a lever right there. Just make sure it's pulled. There we go. It's a pretty heavy duty slide, of course, because this is a heavy generator that you've got on it. It's pretty amazing that you can do this, and it's great to have motorhomes that have the slide out generator tra um, track. Now it's got 409 hours on it. And I'm gonna go in and start it up to let you listen to it. It's about 68 degrees out here, so should be no problem for it to fire up real quick. It's going to have an automatic prime. It fires right up. That's a great sounding generator. I feel like these latest generation Onan quiet diesel generators are getting quieter and quieter. Um, obviously, it's not going to be super quiet. We have the thing open right now, but it seems to just have an idle that's a lot quieter than previous generations, or not a lot quieter, but it seems to be a little more subtle um, and refined. I don't know if that's just because it's a newer engine, um, or they've actually probably been making some upgrades along the line on these 10,000 watt owner generators. Now this has an optional hot water spigot out here, and I really like that. If any of you are really into detailing cars, you know that one of the most awful things that can happen to the front of your car, aside from rock chips, um, is having bugs hit it. I'm going to go ahead and slide this back in place. And you know, if you get bugs on your paint, you let it sit for a year, I mean, a, a day or so, and it's going to start etching into your paint. So you've got to get out here, especially if you're going to be on a week long trip. It's nice to have that hot water uh, spigot, and that's an option, by the way. I think I mentioned that already. But then you can spray off the front and wash the front of the coach off um, to get those bugs out of the paint and from etching and making pock marks all in your, um, your beautiful clear coat. And speaking of the paint, this actually is a custom paint job, but we're going to talk a little bit more about that later. So you've got LED side lights. Um, these indicators are LEDs. These are just standard bulbs. And the, the face of the coach is perfect. It's got about 11,000 miles, so just want to point that out. I mean, I didn't mention anything because it, it has a flawless paint job on the face of the coach, which is a big plus. You don't want to see any rock chips or anything like that. The coach is not that old. Um, it's still something to point out. Okay, may have a little right there. Take that back. This is why I wanted to look closely. I haven't seen that before. Little tiny rock chip. That's probably the only flaw on the face of it that I see. Unless you get a, a microscope out, you may find some more. <laughs> it's got a one-piece panoramic windshield, of course. With an interesting setup on the windshield wiper, it's kind of neat. They, they go up like this. Um, it's just a different style. I like that. You've got side cameras, of course. This front compartment is already open. Um, because I pulled the lever for the generator slide. You got your electronics up here. These are going to be chassis side electronics and fuses. And you could use that as a little storage compartment if you like as well. Now this of course has Michelin tires all the way around and oops, make sure it's shutting. There we go. So the windows behind the driver seat are all tinted and this is this new style of nearly flush looking glass windows and this coach does have the Girard package um, this is a Girard Nova package on top of that because there was a step below this option um, but this actually has the Nova package which means all these window awnings are electric and it has two massive Girards on the other side of the coach as well let's open this up notice the design on this compartment door so normally the compartments up under the coach um, it's harder to get to them, but especially because this has the uh, Newmars, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's patented or the Newells do it as well, but the slides literally go out 
and then drop down about two or three inches um, to become flush with the rest of the floor. So they don't use carpet in these slide outs like you see on other manufacturers. Newar actually continues the tile onto the slides. We're, we're gonna talk a lot more about that later. Um, but anyways, they designed this because the slide comes out so, um, so much farther and so much farther down, check out the design on the compartment door. As you open it, it goes down so it can fit easily and comfortably under your slide out while providing um, a very nice tall slide out, I mean uh, compartment under here. And this is on a slide out tray. These are your chassis, I mean your coach side batteries. And what you do is you take these two pins out and you can slide it open. I'm not going to slide it open right now because it is pretty heavy and <laughs> we're kind of on a hill. So for now I'm going to leave that in. But that does slide out. Anyways, neat design on the compartment doors. Step to this one. This is a pass-through storage compartment. And we have another pass-through storage compartment. Now you do have LED lighting under here. And this is actually an option as well. One of the many options this coach has is a slide out compartment drawer. This is a massive one. It takes up this entire compartment width wise. Very easy to slide. Shut these. There we go. This is equipped with a hydronic heating system which has 50,000 BTU of power and will provide you with unlimited hot water. And this also provides you with your furnace heat. It's made by Oasis. And it's funny, you know, as that technology has progressed, they become a lot smaller and allows you to have more storage space underneath, which is really nice. This is your 50 amp power cord service right here and it is on, on an electric reel. And you have your cable hookups etc. on the left. And right here we have our wet bay compartment. And this coach is of course equipped with a Sanicon system. We've got an outside shower. Water filter right here. This is on electric reel. So what you do is you just pull it out to where you need it. Press the button. It goes right back in. And I also really like this design here. This is very convenient over the little caps which it does have for the massive you know, your sewer pipe, you kind of have to have that. But for the water hose, this is a really good idea. So you just press it in there, and it's sealed pretty well. You've got two really thick seals pressing against each other. So they seal pretty tightly around this hose. Great idea. And a heck of a lot more sealed up than those holes that you have, that you normally have to, have to use. Now this is this coach is 43 feet 9 inches long and has a width of 104 inches and is about 13 feet tall. So it is a pretty tall coach and it is decently long. Obviously the longest you can go is 45 feet, but this is equipped with a Freightliner XCR chassis. This is one of the coolest facts about the suspension and the chassis, um, the Freightliner XCR chassis that this coach comes equipped with. Now when you're at low speed and you're turning, let's say in a parking lot or something, the rear wheels um, will actually turn to help you steer, which is really interesting. It's the rear tag wheels, um, which is very interesting. It'll, it'll give you essentially what, essentially four wheel steering. Now what this does is it makes it really easy to get around tight parking lots and in general tight places because what it does is swings the rear around, which means it will feel like a much shorter coach and you know obviously you can imagine why if you're swinging around that rear as you're turning you know when you imagine you're driving a long coach a lot of you have driven them but for those of you who have never driven a long coach before um, or something long in general that doesn't have a break point like a trailer if you start turning too soon before whatever you're trying to clear has passed your rear axles you will clip the side of your coach but what this does is it allows you to swing the rear around and away from that obstacle that you're trying to turn, or turn within. And this allows you to turn tighter and closer and essentially maneuver like a smaller coach um, with a shorter wheelbase. 
A lot of cars are doing this nowadays, Ferrari, Porsche, they're doing this in high performance cars to make them feel like shorter and more nimble cars around corners. But what this does for the big bus is allow you to feel smaller, which means you can maneuver easier in parking lots and when you're parking in a, you know, in a, in a campground. So this is a huge plus that this coach has. And I feel like suspension and chassis things and components are underrated and they, they don't get looked at as often. But when in fact, they are a huge portion of your experience that you're gonna have with a coach. And I think this XCR chassis is an excellent chassis. It's got a lot of new tech and overall it makes you, it, it takes the stress out of driving this thing um, by a decent percentage amount. So. See that? See how the wheels turn along with the coach? Anyways, before I harp on that for too long, because obviously I love driving, let's keep moving along. Now this is equipped with a 450 horsepower Cummins L9 engine, which I suspect is a revised and updated version of the 8.9 liter ISL, which I believe in the 90s Cummins called these things L9, so I th I th they're coming around um, to rename them in a classic Cummins form. Um, so it is called the L9, 450 horsepower. This is side radiated, so back here, let's open this up, let's see, here we go, pin. And that is a beautiful bright red take a look at when you open your engine bay. And no radiator back here, like I said, side radiator, which is what you want out of a diesel coach. That's the, you, you, nothing too wrong with having a rear radiator coach, but the, the big dogs, um, you know, and the, the real heavy duty um, diesel pushers have side radiated engines. So, like I said, L9, 450 horsepower, super clean. This thing only has 11,000 miles. Um, so it hasn't even been broken in. And I like the fact that your Oasis, this is your boiler fluid right here, is has quick, quick access um, right here. And it's of course maxed off, it's topped off. But a lot of them, the old Aquahots have the boiler thing fluid underneath and it can just be so annoying trying to get under the coach to fill up a boiler tank. But it's nice to have the uh, fill up right there. Let's go ahead and put this down. Locks into place. You got your toe axle down here. which should be a Reese type three, I think. Let's see, nope, it's a Reese type five, V5. And it's got a 15,000 pound towing capacity. Impressive towing capacity to have. Uh, 15,000 is really more than any, most people will need um, to, on these coaches. Uh, you can tow a Featherlight trailer with a big BMW 7 series and you'll, you'll weigh about 7,000 pounds. So 15,000 is plenty. You got your rear camera up top and it's a super cool little, almost like a spoiler thing, but it helps with the, I think the aerodynamics and gets flowing air down here and into the engine bay just to increase your cooling. I believe that's why they put that there. It also flows along with the rest of the coach. You've got these Gerard awnings that make it look taller, so they continue that around the whole coach to keep an even look about it. And this makes it look very intimidating and just a gorgeous coach all around. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the coach around and flip it. We're gonna talk about the passenger side of this motorhome. Um, but let's take a quick look at the paint. I, want to mention the colors it's got. So let me pop open my list here because it's got a Coronado metallic uh, mixed with ember black. You have pearl, pepper white, anthracite metallic. Um, and those are the custom special order colors that this coach has, which means if you look at the brochure, um, all the optional paint of the options of paint jobs look nothing like this. So this is probably the only Dutch star that has this paint job um, and it's beautiful. It makes it look a step above all the other Dutch star paint jobs out there, in my opinion, of course. Um, I encourage you to go check out the other paint jobs that they have and they look good, but this one looks um, more comparable to like a King Air paint job. It's an excellent paint job. Uh, very intricate, more intricate than the standard paint and a beautiful, beautiful color that goes with the interior colors as well. So this is a tastefully specced coach as far as colors go. All right, let's get on the passenger side and we're gonna talk about those massive Gerard awnings along with some other really cool features. All right, here's a quick, 
quick operation video of the two G2000 Girard awnings we have on the passenger side of this coach. So they essentially cover the entire length of the bus up until you get to your door awning, but this does have the Girard package, which means we have an excellent super wide Girard door awning. Now, I really like these new Girards because they're not only super deep and very smooth when they come out, they just look expensive. They also have this bar that goes along the inside of the cloth material and in between your main support arms. Now what this does is it gives you a nice crease in the awning, which if you think about it is superior to the simply straight awnings that come out um, because if the sun's over there and it starts getting a little lower in the sky, and excuse those geese, um, you want a little bit of an angle to give you some extra shade. So that's a great, great idea, very intelligent. You've got these great looking LED bars on them as well, which you can run while going down the road. And it gives it an excellent, intimidating perspective and look to the coach while going down the road. You also have a light bar on the door awning, which is one of the first I've seen. This is what they're starting to do in 2019, I suppose. Um, it's also a good idea. All right, we're on the passenger side of this coach and with all the awnings out and the underneath lighting for the slides and all the LEDs turned on, it is a very striking appearance, um, especially if you imagine it sitting in a dark camping spot or um, anywhere really. It has a very striking and appealing look to it. And these beautiful awnings that have the curvature in them provide a great feel underneath um, like you're kind of protected within almost like a little gazebo type tent feel and I like that a lot. Um, now up front right here you do have a doorbell and there is a keypad as well so you can punch in a code and get into it. Now this coach has 365 size tires up front which is a very wide tire um, and I'm very happy that Newmar does this with their, with their coaches and, and with the Freightliner chassis. They put these massive tires on them. Uh, to give it more stability. This has, does have dual fill up so you can fill it from both sides and you do have your compartments down there here. You see this chrome finish to them um, and then you've got this beautiful chrome piece along the bottom of the coach as well on the other side too um, but the chrome chrome and just hard metal solid feeling compartment doors and they are of course all electrically unlocked. Now up here we have our TV which is a Sony 4K smart TV with a Bose soundbar as well. And this does have a radio too. So if you want to connect, you can call it a radio, but it's essentially connecting to your head unit inside. Um, so you can play Bluetooth audio, uh, HD radio, whatever you like through this outside soundbar. So you've got a nice sound system that's easily connectable um, and very nice to work with. Um, a lot, the older systems worked well. They were just a little more unruly to use. Um, so this is a really nice system. Now, this does have a gel coat finish, and it's in excellent condition. Obviously, it's only about a year old, and I'm not going to spend too much time on the paint because you can clearly see the paint and judge for yourself, but I'm a big fan of this custom paint job, especially because it differentiates you from all the other Dutch stars on the road. Now, up here, we do have your exhaust for the washer-dryer. It is set up to have a washer-dryer stack. All right, and let's open these compartment doors now. That's your two chassis side batteries as well as a nice cutoff part of your exhaust system down underneath. That's your DEF fluid tank and that is a large tank. Um, a lot bigger than the first generation some of the first older buses had so that's a nice plus. Some of these doors need to be adjusted just a little bit or they should be shut really hard. This is part of having a pretty new coach. This could be a storage compartment. You probably got your water tank back behind there. Um, you can use it to hang tools, make it a little tool center, which is nice. These are shelves too, so it's a nice little area. Now I've turned on the outside LED cargo lights, which light up the compartments down here really well. Now, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Nice. So on the other side, we have our Oasis system. Um, 
So you have you still have this compartment door right here, the, this storage compartment that goes pretty far back till the other side. It's not full pass through, but they've still put in this slide out tray, which is an option. And you've got extra tile here as well. Check this out. 2019. Yep. So this is extra tiles for the inside of the coach. And I want to I want you to take a peek at this because oh they're super heavy. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is a stone for sure. I don't know what kind. Interesting. So it's nice to have extras right there. And these are extras uh, rods for your slide outs as well. And this is of course for the central vacuum system. Um, that's super nice. Nice. It's got all these brushes that go with it. And an emergency awning rod. Here you go. Into that. Yep, so we've actually got an external vacuum cleaner here, um, which is really cool. So you can quickly vacuum your compartments down here. That's a super big plus um, because having to carry around a you know shop vac or something can be really annoying. This makes it quick and easy to clean your compartments down here. Just making sure I don't bop my head. There we go. All the compartment doors open with a solid feeling. Now this is that massive pass-through storage compartment we talked about with the massive slide-out tray. You can see how far this comes out. Yep, that's it. Comes out mm, slightly more than 50%, which is a gutsy move by Newmar. Um, because you can imagine the leverage that's being induced if you have a lot of weight on this end, but that must be a strong structure and they're confident in it. So that's very nice into place. Now you can see on this side of the coach, yeah, a lot of these compartments just, you gotta shut them real good. They're tight. They're very tight. Once they're, once they're latched, um, they're set pretty well too. This is another pass-through storage compartment here. And you can see how well the LED lights under here light it up. Because it's about 7 o'clock here in Greenville, South Carolina. We just hit time change. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I forgot to mention, oh by the way, before we mention that, uh, you've got some power outlets right there. And having that TV up here gives you just extra space to have down underneath the coach. Um, because a lot of older coaches will have the TVs down underneath. And I know a lot of newer coaches, this is a common thing to have it there, but I just want to point out that it's nice. Now this right here, I said it's probably the back of the um, yeah, this is probably the back of your water tank here. So if you wanted to, you can quickly take this off and access back behind there. All right. So check out the LED lights underneath the slides. Provided a cool little illumination, especially at night if you're out camping. It's nice to have that. Not only have the LEDs on your, your awnings, you have the LEDs down Underneath the slides, it provide you with some uh, form of foot lighting. You can see everything. It provides a nice little camping space and a hangout space to allow you to be out in nature, um, but at the same time, be within the comfort of your coach. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump inside the coach, and we're going to talk about the neat stuff that's going on in there. So let's go. All right, here's a quick demonstration of the amount of walkthrough space you have in the coach with the slides completely slid in and sealed up. So the walkway space gets a little narrow and this is what happens when you have massive slide outs. You do have enough though to get by and once you get in the kitchen area you actually have a decent amount of space uh, to operate, sit down. It's actually a comfortable space. Then it gets a little tight as you go to where the bathroom area is. However, the bathroom door is designed to be able to open with the slides completely closed. So you can get to your front bathroom quite easily. And you can also open up the refrigerator. The refrigerator doors will come open and you can even get to your freezer if you want to. So in the off chance that you use the coach with the slides in, um, you know you can quickly pull over, get to the bathroom, get to your refrigerator, make some food if you want, and you know be set to go with no problem. And really you could even put this one little slide out and have plenty of space to quickly operate. But 
even without any of the slides, you can still get around and get to the important bits like your front bathroom and your refrigerator and your kitchen. So that is nice. All right, let me show you how this slide operates. So this slide is a great engineering feat from Numar. And what it does is it goes out, and this is a hydraulic slide, of course. You can see how far off the ground it is. It's on these rollers. And again, look how far it is off the ground. It's about, I would say, two and a half, three inches, it seems like, just by eyeballing it. So once it gets to this point right here, the entire slide goes out, then it drops straight down. It's pretty amazing to watch. And that's set right there. So look at how they have tile in the slide out area, and it's perfectly flush. So you can see it's normally a lot of coaches have carpet in this area, and it doesn't do this complete flush um, thing that this Newmar coach does. And check it out. By the way, this slide is not out right now. Um, let's go ahead and put it out. Let's go ahead and put it out. This is the bedroom passenger side slide. It's a little ruffled. <laughs> really like the accent. So check it out. I am nearly six feet and my head is touching, but I can stand in here. And so if you're a little smaller than me, you can stand in the part of the slide. So this increases the amount of space you have to walk around. So that slides out. I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demonstration of this slide going out. Now this on the driver's side is of course a full wall slide. It's what they call a full wall slide. Now these two slides on the passenger side are electric slides and the main full wall slide that does the complete flush with the tile is a hydraulic slide. And that's it. Hi there. Um, so today we're doing things a little differently. Now normally I would be doing the interior video, um, especially on a coach like this. It's very exciting to get into detail, all the options, and how amazing it feels to be within uh, this beautiful Dutch Star. However, I suspect that my girlfriend Kaya can do a much better job than me at pointing things out, um, especially when it comes to colors, styles, because when it comes to colors and styles and the trends of today, I am completely at a loss. I'm like a prehistoric dinosaur when it comes to things like that. You know, I like to get into the tech details and how it is to drive, and you know, that's what I like to do. Um, so today, she is going to be doing her first ever video presentation in front of the camera, and you'll be seeing her in just a second. So. Go easy on her today. This is her first video, and I think she's going to be doing much better interior videos than me. So hopefully, from now on, she will be doing the inside videos, and today will be her first one, and she gets to do it on an amazing coach like this. So let's get to it, and um, let's not critique her too much. As fun as it is, that's my job to do. Let's go. All right, so now we're on the beautiful interior of this coach now. And one of the first things you'll notice when you step in is this wood. Well, it's not wood. It's actually tile, but it looks like wood. Kind of tricks you there. It's really pretty. It gives the RV a hint of a rustic look um, that goes really well with the contemporary look that's in this RV. So over here, you have a couch that turns into a bed in a really cool way. And here is a clip of Mayan demonstrating how to open the bed. So right now, it's just a stealthy couch in its natural habitat sitting on the passenger side of this coach. But what you don't know is how this turns into a bed. So what you do is you pull this out, and it automatically legs extend, goes into place, and then this piece, as I'm sure you can probably guess, goes flat, and voila, you have your air mattress strapped to the top of that. So you just pump this up. It has an electric air pump. And there you go, you've got a great, this is probably like a full size bed. Um, maybe a touch bigger, but it looks about a full size bed. Air mattress that is concealed in a great looking, beautiful couch. And it's very easy to put together too. And it's a lot more sturdy than the old style fold out couches that turned into air mattresses. 
Um, nothing against those, those still do their job well. And all you do to put it back up, done. Super easy, it's helped out with the air shocks. Um, so that, I mean, you saw how long that took and I was taking a little longer than it actually would take because I was explaining it. There's a demo, let's keep going. All right, and over here, you have the kitchen area. It's a really big and spacious kitchen area. Um, you have this really nice uh, Corian countertop. It's kind of marbled almost. You have a really beautiful backsplash in the back that it matches throughout the entire coach. It has some really nice pretty gray colors that complement the uh, wallpaper. Um, you have a convection microwave over here. It's pretty big, good size. And then here, you have a induction oven. This is pretty cool. The induction oven part comes out. So it has a little outlet back there that it plugs into. And you can basically take this anywhere. So you can cook outside with it if you want. And this goes back into place. I don't think that's right. Oh well. That'll work for now. Put those back. They're not going to fit right because I don't have that in on the way. Over here, you have a double stainless steel sink. And I think it's really cool because it has like little square drains that you don't really see. Oh, I've never seen a drain like that. I think it looks really cool. Complements the uh, shape of the sink. Then you have lots of space. This is pretty cool. You uh comes out all the way. So you can put lots of stuff in there. And it locks into place too. So that's nice. You got some little thing for sponges or soap or something. Lots of space. This is pretty cool. So this opens. You can put a trash can in there. This one does the same thing. You can put cleaning supplies. And then here you can put like utensils, it already has a little separator in there for like your knives or whatever you want to put in there. And it has a dishwasher. So that is nice. Now under here you have a extra little countertop space. And there's a little button under there that you can push. It comes out, locks into place, not going anywhere. And under here you have drawers that actually open because I've noticed and a lot of RVs, these don't actually open and they are just for looks. So you have extra space there. Then to put it back in, you just push this button. With a little bit of force, you can push it in. Now over here, you have your uh, Whirlpool refrigerator, household refrigerator. It's pretty big. Got a little water dispenser and a freezer with an ice maker. Has extra little drawers in there, lots of space. And you have a massive pantry. I could fit my whole body in that. Probably two of my bodies in there. And you have these drawers that come all the way out. So you really have a lot of space. I don't know why that's not going in. Oh, there we go. Oh. Apparently it was catching on something. Over here you have your booth dinette. And I really like the booth dinettes. You, they feel more comfortable. And you can seat more people too, because I feel like you can sit two people there pretty comfortably. And then over here you have two recliners. And I noticed the pillows that are on the recliners match the gray on the leather like almost perfectly. So I thought that was a nice detail that they had. You have a little counter space here. Have more drawers. And then up front you have a really large uh, smart TV. And then on the other side where the couch is, you have a televator um, that actually comes up on its own. So you can have two people sitting here on the recliner and watch TV, or you could look at the other big TV that's in the front also. Um, also, it, the whole RV has all electric shades, so we're going to insert a clip of Mayan demonstrating how to use the little 
magnetic remote to open up and close all of the shades. All right, here is how the MCD optional electric shades work. All right, and here is all day and night. So when you press that, the front shades will come down as well. Um, however, I think for safety reasons, you have to specifically press the button to get the blackout for the very front piece of glass. But everything else comes down. And you see it's significantly darker in here because they are blackout shades. Now, the shades in the back are controlled by a different panel. All right, so I guess the TV's all the way up now. You want to look and see what that looks like. I really love the wood in this RV. It has a nice, like, gray overtone. It really complements all the gray colors in this RV. I also really like these accent lights. It has a really cool design. Okay, over here, you have your half bath, and this door is really convenient, so you can open the door, use the bathroom, all the slides are in, and you can, it, yeah. I also really enjoy the sink in here. I feel like you see these a lot in like really expensive homes. It's all glass. It looks really nice and elegant. You also have the backsplash that was in the kitchen. Have some cabinet space. And more back here with some electrical components. Over here you have the bedroom. It's a really big bedroom. Um, you also have a separation door. I really like the separation door because it has like this really cool frosted glass. I feel like it makes it look more open, but you can't see in. I really like a lot of glass things, but this way you, no one can see in to your bedroom. Over here you have two good sized like wardrobes or closets, you fit a good bit of clothes in there. And you have these in addition to your massive closet in the bathroom. So, so they, they really uh, use up all the space in here. Have a nice little counter space area, some nice really deep drawers. And you also have a, another smart TV back in the back. And you also have a king bed, so you have a really big bed. Um, nice big mirror, which I really enjoy. And if we step back into the master bathroom, you have this uh, closet space for a washer dryer stack if you want. Um, it has all the hookups for it. Right now you can just use it for storage if you want like extra comforters or something, extra pillows. You can put that in there. And you have a double sink and a lot of cabinet space for like your medicine and stuff. More counter space or cabinet space under here. And plenty of drawers to store your stuff and they're all really hard to open so that's good if you're driving down the road they don't fly open. Here is your massive closet. You get a lot of clothes in there. This would probably be my closet. This was my RV. Got a lot of clothes. Put all your like nice handbags or shoes or whatever you want in there if you have like some luggage. Um, there's also on the other side a safe in there if you want, an extra shelf space. You have your toilet over here, a little push button at the bottom. And then this is what, probably one of my favorite parts of the RV is the shower. It's a beautiful shower with like a marble lining. It's not real marble, but it looks really nice. Have a nice little bench. You have to sit. You want to shave your legs or something. Or just need some extra assistance. It is a really big shower. Like I have lots of room in here. Plenty of room. Um, I really like these shower heads. You see these in like really expensive houses. They're really new and in and modern and everyone wants like a shower head like this nowadays. And 
it has a little sprayer so you can, you know, rinse other areas. <laughs> really like that. It's really cool. All right. Also, in the bathroom, you notice you have a little step over here. So normally, it, like the ceiling would be the same height, but they did like a concave ceiling, so you have plenty of room. I can't even touch it. I'm too short, but it all flows really nicely, so you have that extra room up there, which is really nice. Makes it a lot more spacious. One more thing I forgot to mention is somewhere, they have it throughout the RV, but you have this like backlit, it almost looks like marble, looks really nice. It's a nice little detail it has. It really looks great. It's a nice detail. All right. I think that concludes the interior part of this video. Um, I think we're about to go hit it on the road. So let's get to that. All right. Let's take a look at the cockpit area here. And this is a beautifully um, techy cockpit. And I really like that. So you've got these two screens over to the right of me. The this Voyager is a screen for your three backup monitors and side cam on your side cameras and your backup monitor. This is your Bluetooth head unit. It's got navigation, uh, all kinds of good. It's got HD radio. You can plug in your AUX. It's even got a CD player. Then down here you have all your controls, entry locks, basic stuff, um, generator start stop, extra uh, fans. So you've got auxiliary defrost fans, all your visors. The pedals are electronically adjusted or adjustable. And you've got multiple auxiliary fans, by the way, which is really nice. Now you have your battery boost button. It's got an electric window over here. That's the button for that. Headlights, bright dim. Now this is the first generation of Dutch Star to have the Freightliner screen instead of an actual actual dials. And see right there, it's an actual it's a screen. And don't mind the dust. It's pollen season here in Greenville, so it's impossible nearly to get things clean for anything longer than a day. So I'm going to start it up. It makes that great noise, by the way. I'm going to turn it off and let you hear that noise again. I love that noise. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Wait to start. Not very long. Fries right up. L9 sounds good. All right, so the, the benefit of the screen is you can configure it to how you want it to go. Now it has an automatic revving to build the air pressure up. I'm gonna stop that so it doesn't get too loud. Now you can configure what goes in this part of the screen. So you have, right now I have it at turbo boost. Um, this is just water temperature, which is kind of redundant. Uh, and then your DEF fluid. But you can have transmission fluid. You can have it show what gear you're in. You can configure it to anything you want as far as gauges go. And that is, is really nice. So let me show you enter gauge setup. So I'm going to change that turbo boost one. So now it's showing me barometric pressure. <laughs> I don't know why you need to know that, but uh, you could know the barometric pressure if you want. Engine hour meter, um, that is oil temperature, RPM specific, distance to empty, engine load, what gear you're in, transmission temperature, that's a useful one, our turbo boost. And you can have any of these show all of those, whichever one you want. So that is a really nice thing um, that comes with the fact that that is a configurable screen. And by the way, I'm not sure the camera shows it. It's easily visible. I mean, it's being smacked by the sun right now and you can still easily see it. So it's an anti-glare screen. Now this is a wireless charger. So if you've got a newer iPhone, a newer Samsung, most new smartphones and a lot of electronics, AirPods, um, you can, and Sony's as well, you can throw them on here and it'll automatically charge it. No. All right, we're getting on the highway now in this coach. And like I mentioned earlier, this rides on a Freightliner XCR chassis um, that is equipped with Freightliner's V-Ride drive suspension. And it does have the four-wheel steering at low speeds, which is extremely beneficial. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration of that um, up next when we come to the storage. But right now, I've got it on the highway. And aside from being on these excuse of a road in South Carolina. Um, it is riding super smooth and you can see I'm one handing it. I mean, I kind of look like a, I look like a cool guy here one handing this thing, but you can one hand it. Um, and 
mainly due to the fact that it has the comfort drive. So what that comfort drive does, if you turn the wheel all the way to the right, it will bring it back to the center automatically. So it's constantly wanting to keep itself dead straight. Um, and what this does is it really helps you keep the coach steady because in a lot of other coaches, especially older ones that don't have the comfort drive, you're constantly having to make little corrections and that's, that's fairly normal. And this doesn't completely rid you of having to do that, but it does provide some assistance in keeping the coach in the lane. And that is a super nice benefit to having the comfort drive. And you can turn it up and down. So you can turn it way up to where you can turn it with your pinky or turn it down to where there's more resistance. There's a knob right here. And, but the coach drives great. 65 miles an hour, no problem. I don't even hear the engine. This is another, yeah, yeah, I just, we just drove it to Raleigh, North Carolina and back and um, it drives excellently. I ate the miles up. I'm gonna set cruise control here. Oh, not at 75, buddy. That's too fast. Okay, 70. Yeah, excellent driving coach. And the power is nice. And, and like I was mentioning earlier, I can't hear the engine. A lot of older coaches um, always honk at other RVs. At a lot of older coaches, you really hear the engine a lot more. And I don't know if that's because of um, different insulation types or the fact that this is just newer and they have better insulation. I know if you buy a new house, you know, it's a rule of thumb that your electricity bill is going to go down if it's the same size house because it's better insulated. And I think this coach is better insulated because I seriously don't hear the engine at all. Um, and that's a huge plus. And the screen is really nice. It's very bright, anti-glare. So even with the sun out, I see it. And I've got electric visors here. So I've got controls for like a daytime. And then if it's really sunny, you can get the dark blackout to come down. And these ones on the side are electric as well. All right, so here's that quick demonstration of operating a 43-foot bus around a tight storage facility with ease. Um, so I just ducked down that first little corner. And right here, here I'm going to turn right here. I got a $300,000 Prevo, $300,000. 43 foot bus and it's you got that orange pole there. Whoa, you absolutely no problem. What? Man, I thought you were gonna hit that. Absolutely no problem. I'm gonna go down here, this is for fun. And you see how fast I'm going. Wow. Don't do this at home. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I was within the foot there, but look, it, I mean this is a 43 foot bus moving around like a little 40 like a little 35, 35 footer. Foot. Yep, yep. I mean the way I Here's a tight tube. Oh, this is tight. I would never do this in a normally a normal 43 foot bus. Well, not in a 1999 Dynasty. You'd be going back and forth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> turning know, radius. Nice, but it's just, they, don't have the, they don't have the turning radius. And a four wheel steering. Oh, yeah. The four wheel steering. This is new stuff right here. New tech. Oh, I'm going to quickly back it in here. Whip around this corner. Nope. Walmart basket. Yep. All right, so right here is your main control panel. So I'm gonna walk you through what all of these do. Now this touchscreen right here will show you all your tank levels. You can turn on auto fill, your water pump, um, and you can put it in top off mode, which will allow you to fill your tank and then it'll stop filling um, once it gets to a certain point. Now up above that, you have your inverter control and to the right, you have your wind guard control and on top, you also have your wind guard traveler control there as well. Now here you have all your lights, your security lights. This coach is equipped with a block heater. Exterior step, turn on, and you have your LED lights below the slides. You have a button for that. Your two slide out controls, um, your awnings, so the window awnings and the door awnings. So this thing has three window awnings, two on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, as well as an entrance door awning. There's my dad. <laughs> So this right here is your Girard control for the massive uh, two Girards that you have, the G2000s on the passenger side of the coach. You also have um, a remote out in the TV compartment to control the awnings if you want to do, use that. Now this is a power control system. So this is monitoring what is using all your power, where the power is coming from, your batteries, all kinds of interesting information can be gained from looking at this device. And then your Oasis hydronic heating system control right here as well. So that is the main control panel covered.
Alright, I'm on top of the 2019 Death Star 4369. Look at it. It's pretty much brand new. I know this is a hot spot video. Mayan did the video, exterior test drive, his girlfriend Kaya did inside, and Poppy's on top. Look at this. There's an American Eagle, and look at this. They're taller coaches with the garage awning on the side. No worries up here. You got some kind of a Razor automatic. I don't know. That's probably your uh, TV. That's your, that's your TV antenna. Three roof air conditioners with a couple of them heat pumps. You got the uh, wind guard, uh, automatic satellite dish, and uh, that's the best part. It's got the cathedral ceiling for the master bath. You don't see that in a lot of motorhomes. And a little bitty solar charger. All right, uh, you have my number, 864-404-0054. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Please subscribe to our channel so you get to know what's coming and what's going on. Usually it goes out in a month or two. So if you see a video is over a few months old, chances are pretty high it's sold. Thank you. Have a great day.